I'll lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and I'll roll in my sweet baby song. Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. I've been wanting to do a short series on backup banjo, and so what a better day to start than today. And I say short, we're not going to dive into anything real heavy or really crazy. Uh, I'm just going to give you some things that you can do when you're out playing with friends. It's because at some point, and if you've gone through my beginner series, you, you realize that there's a time when it's good to play the banjo, and then there's a time when, you know, you don't need to be taking your lead break. And so the question is, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? So I'm going to give you a, just a thing to try today. And... And there will be some ambiguity in what I'm what I'm showing you and and how I go about this because so much of what we're going to do and what you're going to figure out here, it, it it all depends on what you want to do as opposed to what I'm telling you because my goodness I can't create a backup arrangement for every song that you might encounter somewhere and you sure can't memorize them because you you just every time they get played somewhere different they they they'll be different and so what what I want to show you is kind of how I learned to do this and and then over the next couple of lessons hopefully you'll be able to to jump out there and start playing so when I was a kid one of the things that I figured out really quick was you know, it, it'd be nice to have, uh, to know some chords and songs. Now, if you've been through my beginner series, you know some chords. You know your G chord. Ha. That, that one's not too bad. And you know a D7 chord. And you know your C chord. And so those are three chords you know. And I, I know we did a couple of others if you've done other lessons. But... How, how do I put these together and what the heck do I do with them? So when I was a kid, one of the things that I did is I found, I would find these like this, the Bluegrass Songbook. And man, this thing, you can see it's it's absolutely worn out. And, and I've had this since, hmm, since I was a kid. Uh, and what it has in it is just songs words to songs and then above the above the songs it has chords written and so I I would take these books like like this or here's another one that I bought and it's the uh, old time string band songbook and <laughs> they're, they're dusty uh, but don't it, you know you don't have to have this one and then another one that's really good and that, that I bought a long time ago as well and this one's a little better shape is the bluegrass songbook and I think uh, yeah Peter Wernick put this together and so and, and these are great but you know they don't have to be bluegrass songbooks they can be any any kind of songbook uh, I you know I I like bluegrass and I like old-time music so these books you know appeal to me but any book that has chord changes in it that tells you kind of where the where the songs change chords you can you you can look in here so like here's poor Ellen Smith and there went a page out of my book <laughs> poor Ellen Smith and it's got the chords written right above the the words and so if you can if you can read the words and you know the song, and that's an important aspect of this is actually knowing the song. Now, like I'm looking here at, at different songs, and so here's one's called Son of a Sawmill Man. Now, I don't know that song, so that's not real helpful to me, but right here below it, there's Skip to Malou. Well, I know Skip to Malou, and so I can look at the chord changes on Skip to Malou sing the song and change chords over the words that it's telling me to change the chord to. Now, 
the next question is how do I do that well first we got to pick a song we like and so I started this video with rolling my sweet baby's arms it's a song I like I've known it since I was a kid and it's one I can sing if I put the banjo away if I'm out working in the yard or wherever or driving down the road without the radio on I can sing rolling my sweet baby's arms and but so whatever song that you want to learn, it would be important that you would be able to sing that song. And they say, Jim, I'm not much of a singer. Yeah, me either. But th this, this is how you're going to learn to hear these chord changes. And so after doing a bunch of these songs, like from the, from the books, you know, you, you, learn, you learn where the changes are. And, and then eventually you start to hear those changes intuitively you you will know you'll get clues and say hey that's about to go to a c chord or that's about to go to a, a d chord and that's great and, and you could like here here's an example so in rolling my sweet baby's arms you could play just that basic rhythm that i showed you that three pinch four pinch and that's your g chord and you could play that through the whole song so the song goes Ain't gonna work on the railroad, still in G. Ain't gonna work on the, and then goes to D7 for farm, same right hand. Farm, gonna lay around this shack till the C chord. Mail train comes back and now uh, then it goes to a D7 rolling my sweet babies and then back to a G chord. Now if you find that in, in one of these songbooks, it'll tell you exactly where the chords change, and so you can play that basic rhythm through it and sing it sing it. You have to sing. Uh, you don't have to sing well, You don't, but it's going to help you immensely if you will sing. Now, what about this I got to sing and I got to play at the same time? Yeah, that's the trick. And the best advice I can give you on that is to take one of those roll patterns that you can do that you can do well enough and be able to have a conversation while you're doing that roll pattern. Just like you can talk and walk. This is one of these things that you would want to be able to, your right hand to be able to do without really thinking about it. Now, what about other rolls? You can do any other roll that you want to. So you could do an alternating roll for that song. play an alternating role. So here's what I want you to do this week and this is going to be you know shortish kind of lesson. It was a lot of me talking and not much picking because you're the one's going to have to do the picking at some point and, and to figure these things out. So get your banjo if you had not already got it out and find you a little songbook. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, there'll be a link and it will have a link to roll in my sweet baby's arms and I'll write out a verse and a chorus and it'll have the it'll have the chords above the words and then it'll then you'll be able to uh, go and figure out hey it, this is where this changes and sing the song sing it in rhythm you know practice just singing it sing it and clap I ain't gonna work on the railroad Ain't gonna work on the farm. Gonna lay around the shack till the mail train comes back. And I'll roll in my sweet baby's arms. 
So there, you're singing and clapping. And start with that. And then that clapping is the same rhythm for your for your basic rhythm and then for your alternating roll. And so you want to be able to do that roll without thinking about it. It's pretty important because at some point you're going to have to sing. <laughs> and you're going to have to sing. Now, Jim, I don't want to be a singer. Sorry. Singing is the way that you're going to learn to hear these changes. Now, you may, you may not have to be a singer, the lead singer in a bluegrass band, and that's fine. You, 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 you don't. I, I'm not, uh, but occasionally I do have to sing, and when I'm figuring out a new song, it's super important for me to be able to at least sing the melody of the song to, to find the chord changes on the banjo. So that's what I want you to do this week is just work on that, so here's what, I'm, I'm going to close it out with, with that song, and then y'all play along, and then I'll tell you bye here in a second. So here we go. Rolling my sweet baby's arms. Kind of a slowish, medium tempo. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a dirge. You know, it, it's not a ballad. It's, it's a peppy thing, but we're going to do it kind of medium, because I think that you can do an alternating roll. And then I want you to watch my left hand, and you will see the chord changes, and you should be familiar with them. And you try to change where I change. That seems like might be a lot to ask, but I know you can do it. So here we go. Ain't gonna work on the railroad. Ain't gonna work on the farm. Gonna let Shack till the mail train comes back and I'll roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Gonna lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and I'll roll in my sweet baby's arms. How'd you do? Did you do all right? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, thumbs up on this video. Comment if you if you feel led to. Uh, and check out you know the links that I post down here. I, I get you the, a link to that chord changes and those two verses that I did. And most of all, y'all just have fun and, 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 and find somebody to pick with makes it makes it a whole lot easier. Hope you like the new little area that I'm picking in. Uh, my wife set this up and we have, you know, got a globe in case I need to point to where something came from, I guess. I don't know, but it's a lot of fun. So like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. We'll see y'all next time.